Hello, I am Alex Idolat from Accretion. Accretion is an Odoo integrator located in, in Brazil and in France. Accretion is an active member of the Odoo Community Association. In this screencast, I will show you Accretion's latest con open source contribution, which is the support of UBL electronic orders in Odoo. What is UBL? UBL means Universal Business Language. It is an XML standard to describe many different kinds of business documents such as orders, invoice, and many other kinds of documents. Um, UBL became an ISO EOC standard um, in December 2015. Um, according to the Wikipedia page of UBL, as you can see, it can be used to describe many different kinds of business document, order, order response, order change, order cancellation, invoice, of course, catalog, um, uh, catalog item specification update, price update, quotation, request for quotations, uh, bill of lading, certificate of origin, forwarding instruction, packing list, transportation status, way bill, etc., etc. The latest version of the standard is UBL 2.1, which was published in 2013, and that's this version, UBL 2.1, that became the ISO standard. In this demonstration, I will show you a complete procurement and billing workflow between a customer and a supplier doing a B2B transaction. In the demo, the customer will be Accretion, the supplier will be Silim. Uh, Accretion will issue a request for quotation to Silim, which will answer with a quotation. Then Accretion will place an order. The supplier will issue an order acknowledgement. And after the delivery of the goods, it will issue an invoice. All that you'll need using electronic documents, uh, mainly PDF files with an embedded XML file in UBL format or uh, other formats. So in the demonstration, I will use a Firefox web browser for the Odoo of Accretion, Odoo version 8 of Accretion, and then I will switch to Chrome to show you uh, the Odoo of Silim. Uh, so let's start the demonstration with uh, accretion. So in this demonstration, I will use a few products, for example, this pack of bills, Bellevue. So it's configured as a stockable product with a, uh, an EIM13 barcode. Um, it's configured as a buy route with Silim as a supplier. The stock is empty. We don't have any stock of this item. Have the VAT taxes configured. And there's a special reordering rule linked to the external location Guillaume Beer Heaven uh, with a minimum stock of 60. So if I start the procurement scheduler here on scheduler, the scheduler will compare the stock levels with the minimum. Um, stock rules and create a draft purchase order. So here it is, it has created a draft purchase order for Silim. So it's an RFQ. This RFQ have three items in different quantities. As you can see, the prices are not um, up to date. So we will add the, um, uh, the address of the remote stock location. So I will select Gio. Corp, Benoit Guillaume being the contact for delivery. The incoterm is empty. Let's say that we leave it empty and we add a note in this RFQ. Please uh, propose an incoterm for this deal. Okay, so I save this RFQ and I click on print RFQ. So Odoo generates a PDF document, request for quotation with Silim, the special shipping address. But this PDF document has a, an attachment. It has an embedded XML file, UBL request for quotation 2.1. If I open this XML file, I will find 
the same content as the PDF RFQ, but in structured format. I find here the seller, which is Silim, in Alençon, in France, uh, with this email address. There's the customer, which is accretion in Villeurbanne, with this VAT number and this email address. There's the delivery, okay, which is for Geocorp in Annecy, um, the contact information for contact person for the delivery being Benoit Guillot with this email address. And then there's a detail of the lines of this RFQ. So as you can see on each line, I have the quantity. I have the product code, here it's in AN13, and the product name. So the XML, the UBL XML has, file has all the information. So I send this uh, request for quotation to Silim. So I call it accretion RFQ. Save it. So I switch to Chrome. Now I have the Odoo of Silim and there's a new menu entry, import RFQ or order. I sta it starts a wizard. I select accretion RFQ. It has automatically detected the document type, request for quotation, by extracting the XML from the PDF and analyzing the XML. Then I click on import. There it is. It has created a new draft quotation. It has selected the customer, accretion France. It has used the VAT number to match the customer, but it could have used also the email address or if the base phone module installed is installed, it could have used the, the phone number or fax number to match it. It has also identified the delivery address. It has used the Benoit Guillaume's email address to, to match it. And it has checked that the zip code is the same, the country code, the state code, etc. Um, I get these three lines. It has matched the product using the EN13 um, barcode. It is, has read the quantities and the unit of measure from the XML file. And it has set the prices from the price list. Okay. In the chatter, I have some additional information about the import. It says there's a note in this file, please propose an encoterm term for this deal. And as you can see, it has attached the PDF RFQ. Okay, so let's um, finish this quotation. Let's add the delivery cost. Okay, delivery cost 10 euros. Let's set an inco term. We'll select uh, DDU. Okay, it's fine. So let's save this quotation. And let's print it. So do generate the PDF quotation, okay, with the three products and the shipping cost. And this PDF has an attachment. It's an embedded XML file. Again, I have the same information about the the seller, Silim, the buyer, accretion, about delivery to to Benoit Guillaume, Guillaume Corp. And then I have the Inco term, DDU. And I have the detail of every line, and this time I have the price amount for every item. Okay, fine. So let's save this PDF. So, Silim quote. And then Silim sends this PDF to Accretion. So I switch back to Accretion. I am on the RFQ, and I have this new button Import Quotation File. Oh, it starts a wizard. I can import the PDF for XML quotation. So I select the quotation from Silim. There's this option, update option. I can choose between update only the price or price and quantity. In my case, I only want to get the price. I don't want, even if the quote has different quantities, I want to keep my quantities. Okay. So I click on update RFQ and it has updated the RFQ and put the quote as attachment. As you can see, and this is confirmed by the, by the information in the chatter here, it has added one 
uh, order line for the delivery here delivery by post 10 euros with the VAT it has updated the prices here you have this information in the in the, in the chatter here we have the good prices now for uh, each item and it has set the inco term the u this is also uh, explained here in the chatter okay uh, so we are ready to confirm this order but oh last minute information let's say that for Levbrun we don't need 50 units we figure out that 40 will be more than enough so let's update the quantity and oh let's back the price so I add a note about it um, we changed the quantity from 50 to 40 for um, left you can adapt the price of that order line if needed okay so it says that we are okay if the price of this item changes because we order a, a lower quantity so let's confirm this order so it's now a purchase order let's print this PO Odoo generates the PDF file again it has an attachment which is an embedded UBL order XML file with the information always the same about the the buyer, the seller, the delivery the inco term DDU and the detail of every line ok fine so we save this quotation this uh, PO Okay, we save it and we send it to Silim. So I switch to Chrome on the switch to Silim and I start the import RFQ order wizard. I select accretion PO. So it says that the document time is sell order this time. So it shows a new option apply prices from. I want to apply the prices from the price list because if the customer puts a different price which is not the price we agreed on in the price list I want uh, to, to uh, set the price from the price list ok, import oh, it says that he has found a, a quotation so he's proposing me to either update this existing quotation or create a new one so I want to update it ok, so it has updated my, my quotation it has put the PO as attachment as you can see the quantity has been changed um, and also as you can see the price has been is now higher because the price list for Levbrun um, has a, a slightly higher price for that quantity so this is explained in the chatter okay the quantity for Levbrun has been changed from 50 to 40 and the price has been also changed for from 495 to 550 okay and we have this small comment that appears here okay we change the quantity you can adapt the price that's fine so I accept this lower quantity and let's say that also we lower the price of the shipping cost because we have we'll have less weight on this shipment so I change it from 10 euros to 9 euros ok I save this order I confirm it I can print the order acknowledgement uh, in this order in PDF file it has again an attachment which is UBL order response simple 2.1 which acknowledge the order so let's save it ok so now we can ship the goods ok so we check the availability of the goods everything is in stock I can ship all at once ok so now I can create the customer invoice so Odoo creates the draft uh, customer invoice ok everything is fine here in this invoice so I can validate the invoice and print it so Odoo generates the PDF customer invoice for accretion again there's an attachment it's a Zugferd 
XML file which has all the information about the, um, the invoice. So let's save this. Uh, okay, we call it Silim invoice.pdf. Okay, now I switch to Firefox to go to Accretion. Accretion has received the products. Okay, so let's receive the products in Odoo. Fine. Now we can create the draft supplier invoice. Here it is. So that's the draft supplier invoice from Silim. Of course, we're still lacking the, some information, the supplier invoice number, invoice date, etc. And we are still not aware that the uh, shipping costs have changed. So I have this new button, import invoice file. I can select uh, Silim invoice.pdf, update invoice. So Hodoo has extracted the XML file from the PDF, read the XML file, so it was able to set the supplier invoice number, the invoice date, and it has updated the invoice lines. For example, the delivery, the unit price has been changed from 10 to 9 euros. I have that this confirmation in the chatter. Okay, the unit price of the delivery has been changed from 10 to 9. It also says that the unit price for Lev Brun, for which we ordered a lower quantity than initially um, expressed in the RFQ, has also been updated. Okay, so that's a total of um, 655 euros and 5 cents. Let's have a look at what was in the PDF. Yeah, that's it. No problem. So I can validate this invoice, this supplier invoice. And that's it. So as you have seen in this demo, we have made a full procurement and billing workflow using PDF documents with embedded UBL XML files. Or for the invoice, it was a Zuckferd uh, invoice, but it could have been also uh, an in a PDF invoice with an UBL XML file. Um, I hope that you like this contribution, that you, uh, you share the excitement with me that this is a future of procurement and billing using these uh, electronic orders, electronic invoices for B2B transactions. Um, don't hesitate to, to test this, uh, these modules. Um, in fact, this demo is using um, uh, 23 AGPL uh, modules which are either already merged in the OCA or has pending, uh, pending pull requests. It's shared across uh, five different OCA projects. So here you have the details of all the modules and their dependencies. It's uh, well organized with some base modules that share the code between the different methods of the different functions of um, uh, of the of the workflow. So don't hesitate to to give us some feedback to use this module, um, to read our blog post. Here you can comment on the on the pull requests on GitHub uh, and give report bugs or give your advice. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, hope to see you soon. Bye bye.